good. All right. So this is the first time for this. We have uh, audio working there, Ken? Certainly. All right. Uh, let's do a quick check in the chat. If people can hear me, let us know. That will be good news. And we will get underway unboxing this enormous box. This is a laptop box, which uh, not a lot of people at the office kind of believe me when I told them that, but that's definitely, definitely the case. All right. Cool. So uh, again, thank you guys for stopping by while we try this out. We spent a lot of time kind of creating this whole setup. It doesn't look much different probably to a lot of people, but on the inside, there's a lot of stuff. For instance, we have lots of different camera angles now. Uh, we've got this one here. We've got uh, maybe one up in the top over there that's kind of going to look down at things. We also just hooked up, which kind of caused us to restart. that let's unbox this machine so uh, this actually just showed up yesterday I believe yesterday yeah and uh, this is supposedly hope I didn't lie to everybody it's supposed to be an M17X gaming laptop shipped to us from AMD so I'd be surprised if we found an Nvidia card in it let's see what we got another box They said the audio drops when you switch cameras, so it will. How about now? We got some audio. No, that's not like it should only be the one camera. Okay, camera. we got audio on all the cameras now. We'll uh, continue here. So you can see this is the box for that. I guess the boxes are good. They're, they're definitely going with the alien theme here, guys. All right. First, we will start with what is in all of the extras box here. Now, this may have been used by somebody else before we got our review sample, so things may not be in this best of shape. Nice mouse pad here. Not a super flimsy one. We've got uh, drivers and recovery disks. Ooh. Ooh, a hat. What do you think? Can you want to wear this during the during the show? Here. Absolutely. There you go. Uh, manuals, because everybody needs manuals if they're buying a two to four thousand dollar gaming laptop. And uh, oh, this will be important to show off. This is the power brick that goes along with it. It's actually um, pretty thin. It's large. If we look at the size of my hand on it, it's pretty big. It is rated at, uh, let's see, 19.5 volts, 12.3 amps. So you can do the math on that. Uh, just multiply those two together. Pretty high wattage. Again, it is a 17-inch gaming machine. Got a little sticker for you guys and a uh, audio. So we'll toss that out of the way. Maybe not literally, but figuratively. All right. Some more foam. And inside here, we've got the actual machine itself. Nothing left in the box here but more foam. So I'll go ahead and get that out of the way. And a uh, nice kind of black. cloth, protect it from scratches and that type of thing. So it's going to be a large machine. Throw that out of the way. So here you go. This is the Alienware M17X. It's got, uh, I don't know, what would I consider that front to be something like out of a car design? Uh, I don't think the design has changed a whole lot on the M17 series recently. Um, let's switch up to this camera here. I'll show you guys 
uh, the, the outputs on the sides. We got uh, networking, Ethernet, Gigabit, I'm assuming, VGA, HDMI out, DisplayPort out, uh, super speed, so I'm assuming those are USB 3.0 ports, SPDIF mic, headphone, headphone. So two, two headphone outputs, which is kind of nice. On the front is, uh, you'll see there will be some fancy lights and stuff there. On this side, you've got uh, memory card reader, optical drive, two more standard USB ports, eSATA, USB combined, and an HDMI input. Hmm. That's kind of nice. And then uh, power actually comes out on the back. So pop this baby open and uh, nice shiny surface so depending on your preference of matte versus uh, gloss take your preference there also I'll go ahead and just kind of lay this is a, a Lenovo X201 this is my primary computing machine and we'll just kind of show you there I mean you're getting a, a pretty big size difference here on uh, on what you're getting. 17 inch machines are of course going to be that way. Um, full size numpad, touch sensitive commands up here for your volume, mute, next tracks. Do you ever do you ever use these keys on your laptops? The next track, the play, the pause. I don't know if I ever actually actually have used those. Wireless turn uh, on and off. Big big uh, trackpad there. And that's pretty much it. I think what will be more interesting is if we, we get the power cord here for it, light the baby up, and I think Alienware machines tend to have lots of uh, fancy lights on them. And in fact, we may even be able to uh, turn off our overhead lights in a second. And um, once I get hooked up, you do use. So Jeff, Jeff is saying he does use the play and pause. is multimedia machines so I, I, I tend to not do that I do use them on I guess I'll admit I use them on my keyboard for my desktop systems so if this is your primary rig which for a lot of people if you are buying an Alienware M17X it will likely be your primary system so there we go let me walk over here turn off some lights should help a little bit. Actually, I'll go ahead and turn this off as well. And let's see. This is the power. This is when things happen live. You never know, right? So this could just completely crash out on us, and uh, we'd have to start over. So it looks like a 1.3 terabyte RAID array. So it looks like two hard drives in here. Two uh, seven, probably two 750 gigabyte hard drives in a RAID zero array. That uh, should be enough. I don't know. It looks like they might be saying that the uh, the mic. No. Okay. So here we go. Um, yeah, I guess that's still the best angle for us to look at this with. Let me kind of get out of the way a little bit here. Let's go in there and see what kind of hardware we got. First off, we go to the screen resolution. We are definitely 1920 by 1080. Pretty nice. Pretty nice rig. Actually, we could probably hook this up as an input here in a second. Yeah. Do we have that? What's? We might not be able to if we have yeah, the miss. Eliminate the camera. Okay. I get. Well, we could probably take whatever the Skype machine. No, you don't want to do that. Okay. So 1080p to screen. Uh, 1080p screen, 17 inch. Uh, nice, nice and large. Let's um, let's go here. If we look at. Computer properties is the best place to start. Windows 7, home edition, 16 gigs of memory. Zoom in a little bit on that here. Yeah, in the future, we're actually missing one of our input cards on this, so we'll be able to hook up these machines live and uh, actually show you the output on them. That should be okay. I'll read off the most important items here. So it is 16 gigs of system memory. It's a Core i7 2630QM processor, which is actually running at 2 gigahertz. My guess is that is the speed before the uh, Turbo Boost technology there. Device Manager. Open that baby up. What do we got? 
So it's an, actually the disk drive shows up as an M17X RAID 0. So you don't actually see the individual hard drives in this particular in instance. It is a Radeon HD 6900M series with the Intel HD graphics, of course. Uh, let's, let's show uh, our performance monitor here so you can see. It is a four-core hyper-threaded, so you got eight threads in motion here, 16 gigs of RAM. It is using all of 1.7 gigs total right now, so that's actually kind of... <laughs> you got a lot of room to grow with this machine. And then if we bring up the graphics properties here, AMD Catalyst Control Center. You can plug in that HDMI cable. Want me to plug in that HDMI cable? Yep. All right, let's... Uh, live here on the fly, see what we can get to work. Now, I guess we should have, or we could have, maybe installed some benchmarks and stuff beforehand, but we did not do that. You saw us open it for the first time. Is our HDMI out? All right. Let's see if that actually works. Let me go in there and duplicate these displays. Is what it defaults to. 720p. You want me to do 720? Yeah. Okay. We have to take this down a little bit from 1080p to 720p, just uh, because I don't think our capture cards can do 1080p at 60 hurts very very reliably. So now I'm at 720p, what do you got? You got it. All right, so there you go. You are looking at the screen of the Alienware M17X. That's kind of cool. We kind of did that on the fly. Um, what else can we look at here? So high performance GPU. So this is, uh, it does have switchable graphics. There's been a little bit of debate recently on the difference between NVIDIA and AMD switchable graphics solutions. So if we, we can actually select here which one it's using, so see if that breaks everything. But I did just ma purposely switch it from the AMD solution to the Intel solution. You broke it. Uh, it went back to the 1080p resolution is what it did. Okay, well, I'll switch back to the high performance GPU. That's the one we're interested in. We're not, you didn't buy an M17X to run Intel integrated Sandy Bridge graphics, let's be honest. So there you go. Uh, it, it, the, the truth is the AMD switchable graphics solution is just not as automatic as the NVIDIA solution. And we kind of just demonstrated that right there. And the fact that we had all that screen flickering, we wanted to switch between them. Um, gaming settings, 3D application settings. Where can I go find all the information on what is in there? Here we go. Two gigs of memory, GDDR5. Clock speed on this GPU is 715 megahertz. Memory clock, 900 megahertz. Two gigs of memory. That's uh, pretty impressive stuff there. Um, what else can we do? What do you guys want to know about this machine? Anything in particular? Um, looks like Steam is already on here. Let's see if they maybe... Oh, we've got to connect to the internet. Well, we have one of those. We can do that. So we'll go ahead and get this baby online. Maybe they, uh, maybe AMD installed some games for us. And we'll see what they come up with. Oh, of course. <laughs> of course. So while that updates, I'll go through here and maybe we can see what games are actually installed, if there are any. Steam apps. Maybe it looks like Portal. Public. Nope, might just be Steam installed, but no games. That's what I'm going to guess here. I don't know what that actually does. Looks like it takes us to uh, an M17X configuration page. Now, if we switch back to um, what other, what camera did we disconnect? Okay, so this is actually a good angle here. You can see. Um, the lighting accents here on the machine, Alienware, the Alienware head lights up, uh, the eyes blink as hard drive activity, which is kind of cool. There's a nice 
blue border around the, the trackpad here, and as you can see, the uh, lights on the front. And I believe, I might just be making this up, I hope not, uh, I believe that they are configurable. But I'm not 100% sure. I guess if I look inside this manual, I can tell that. Maybe not. Did Steam update yet? It's not going to work. It's going to make me validate stuff. Yeah. It's interesting. There's even an Aegea folder in here. Alien Respawn. That is if uh, you need to reload your system from the defaults. I believe. Yep, back up and restore options there. Uh, Alienware Command Center. Let's see what that does. Maybe it's already open. There we go. Creating a basic theme. Ah, okay. So there you go. The uh, the keyboard is backlit too. It's a little bit dimmer than the other lights, uh, so you can't really see it. But this this application gives you a good idea of what you're doing there. So it looks like uh, I can just kind of uh, make everything orange. Let's see if that works. Um, apply here. Let's do that. We'll move that to orange. Yep, there you go. That's actually kind of cool. If you, it's hard to tell on the lighting here, um, but if you go back, Ken, if you switch back to the application, you'll see that what I was able to do is make that side of the keyboard orange, and then I can make the number pad, uh, I don't know, let's go with that weird green color. Uh, that's actually kind of cool. Go here, we can make the track pad. See the green color a little bit here. Um, maybe even if I turn off one of these lights. Help or hurt? Nothing. Help. And then uh, we'll do this one too. I guess when showing off lights. There we go. That's much better. So you can see we've got the number pad green. We got this section orange. Uh, we can make this section purple. That's what you want to do. That's actually kind of cool. You get a lot of customization out of it. And uh, let's make the front bright yellow. And that's what we did. Uh, I don't know if I'd recommend this aesthetics. It's not maybe, it's kind of creative, but that's about it. And I don't know, can you do, you can do the Alienware in the back as well. Uh, and I don't know if you can do the Alienware on the back there. You can see the Alienware head. I don't know if I see that option. It looks like the... You can change the LED on the power brick, too. Wow. Okay. That's actually kind of neat. So, yeah, I think, that, I think that's pretty much it. If we enable advanced settings, what does that do? Oh, you can have them cycle. Hmm. Very cool. Again, it's kind of, it's, you know, it might be a little bit gimmicky. But um, I think it's kind of nice. If you're going to spend this type of money on a machine, you know, you'd like to be able to have this type of customization. So that is, I don't know what all these other applications are for. AMD Fusion is uh, your power settings. Yes, enjoy the overhead airplane noise. So this is if you want to set different power plans. Tip, looks like it starts with the typical Windows-based ones, ballast, high performance, power saver, that type of thing. And then uh, Alien Touch is locking drags using the touchpad. Disabling, disabling the touchpad when external USB mouse is attached, that's a nice feature. If you have an external mouse and you're doing gaming, which is obviously what you want to do, if you've got your hands on the keyboard, then they will tend to, your palms will tend to rest on the touchpad. So being able to disable, that's kind of nice. So uh, there's my multicolored Alienware machine. So interesting. Uh, do we see any more questions come in? Uh, Can Windows we? Experience score. 
Windows Experience Score, I believe, was 6.1, and the kind of uh, the limiting factor there is the hard disk. So you can see 7.4 on the processor, 7.6, and uh, 7.6, which I'm guessing is the maximum score for the latest revisions of Windows 7 for the memory, the graphics, and the gaming graphics, and then 6.1 for the hard drives, which kind of tells you that SSDs are, are really kind of important here, and we would, I'm sure we would have liked to have seen one of those on this system, but they were going for capacity. They've got two drives in here, and uh, they chose to go the route of RAID 0 typical drives. So if, actually, I can open up Intel RST, and yep, two 750 gig hard drives together in a RAID 0 array, 1.397 gigabytes total addressable capacity. And then if we go to the computer, you can see you've got quite a bit of storage free. This is obviously a machine that is meant to be your primary laptop, right? So I showed you the size difference between uh, the, this, this machine here and, and, and my Lenovo. And it's, this is not a traveling companion machine. This is, you're going to travel to LAN parties, you're going to go to GeForce LAN, you're going to go to PDX LAN, you're going to go to QuakeCon, those types of events. And then yes, this is what you want. This, this is a great way to not have to lug around a separate monitor, not have to lug around uh, your keyboard, that type of thing, a, a big box. This, this gets you all of that in, in a handy little box. So... Um, like I said, we're going to do a full review of this machine. Uh, we didn't have any other benchmarks installed yet, so uh, we'll have to come back. Maybe we can do another one of these types of sessions. But uh, I'm just curious if anybody else has any more questions that they think we might be able to address with the machine live like this. No? Okay. What else can we do? We can always load up. Well, that's... Okay, nice gaming sites, I guess. So yes, this was our first attempt. This was this was obviously something picked to do very easily uh, because we wanted we we wanted our first attempt to do some live streaming stuff to be easy. We didn't want to screw it up right out of the gate too badly and prevent ourselves from wanting to do any more of it. So um, yeah, I guess. It, we welcome your guys' feedback. If you go to the to PCPro.com website and uh, go to the post on this, leave some comments, leave what you liked, what you didn't like, what kind of things you would like to see done live. I think the next item we're going to uh, actually look at is um, doing a... Actually, here, I'll bring this out and I'll show it to you on the camera. This is what we're going to do kind of next. This is the whoa galaxy mdt x5 graphics card so this is just an nvidia geforce gtx 560 ti card that can support five displays now i know there are amd cards that already support six displays this will do four displays and you can do a single panel uh, or a single like virtual resolution across four lcds and you can have your fifth panel back here that's that's running windows and things so we're going to we might do a, a live stream of us kind of setting this up and playing around with it and seeing what we can get to work and what we can't get to work, uh, if you're interested in that. That, that it's something interesting. Um, if you get a little preview of what this is. This is actually, if you went to QuakeCon, if you went to our hardware workshop at QuakeCon, they demoed this exact card. So you'll see there's actually a bunch of mini HDMI ports, not DisplayPort, mini HDMI ports right here that uh, can be used for the four major outputs, and then you get to choose DisplayPort or DVI for your fifth display. So we will be looking at that relatively soon. So if, I don't know, Ken, if you want to switch back so we can plug in the other camera, and I'll unplug this. Our uh, Alienware M17X. So um, we'll, uh, we'll have some more on this relatively soon. Definitely put it through some of uh, the gaming tests, right? So our normal array of benchmarks. Ken's getting, hooking up our lost input once again. So 
So yeah, let us know um, when you when you can, either in our comments right here. I don't know how many people. We got up to almost 40 of you guys watching this live, so hopefully there's some interest if you just tuned in and you missed it. As soon as we stop it, we'll re replay back uh, the unboxing we did of this machine. You can see here, for those of you that just showed up, I mean, it's fairly heavy too, as you would kind of expect. Alienware M17X, powered by uh, the AMD Radeon HD 6990. I believe, still currently, the fastest gaming GPU around. We haven't gotten in the uh, mobile the GTX 580 yet, uh, but we imagine that it's going to be pretty close either way. And actually on the bottom, let's see if I can show you guys this. There's even a special plate and serial number on the bottom. Klipsch speakers. Should, should put out pretty good audio too. Large battery, but uh, probably not planning on a lot of battery life. But with features like two USB 3.0 ports, eSATA, HDMI out, and HDMI input, it's pretty interesting. Um, we'll we'll, we'll kind of put it through some of its multimedia paces as well and see uh, what exactly you do with an HDMI input on a laptop. Plug in your Blu-ray player or something? I don't know. All right. So thanks, guys. Uh, we will, uh, I'll stick around here for just a little bit and see if anybody has any last-minute questions in the chat. Give something away. I did say, that's right. Thank you. Stuff away. Uh, as cleaning up the office for this whole studio thing. Um, let's see, I'll just grab a handful of these. So the first thing we're going to give away is uh, a Zotac. This is an older Zotac all-in-one motherboard. I think it's like GeForce 8200 AMD AM2 platform. It's got integrated Wi-Fi display output if you wanted to build some kind of low-cost machine for somebody. I will send this to you. Uh, how do we want to do that? We didn't even talk how we wanted to give it away. Um, there's no trivia really involved in this. Let's just say if you send an email to podcast at pcper.com, just because that's the one that uh, is best set up for this, for this practice. Send an email to podcast at pcper.com, and you will be uh, and, and put in there Alienware live stream as a subject. That way we can fill it, filter it. Podcast at pcper.com, Alienware live stream. And uh, you could either win uh, this integrated all-in-one motherboard, and then if you're interested, we'll give away... Uh, We've got, we've got a lot of games. I use Steam for almost all my games. I found a lot of retail copies. Left 4 Dead 2, Just Cause 2, Call of Duty World at War. We'll include all of that in a single prize package. So um, podcast at PCPro.com. Send an email in if you're interested in winning that. And thanks, you guys, for stopping by. And we'll see you next time. Thanks.